Dear Leo, this is a reading for you in love. Um, um, feel free to like the video, share, subscribe if you're new here and you like my style in reading. These are timeless readings and they're not going to resonate with every single Leo. The information also may be for a cross watcher, so we'll see what pops up, okay? Show me the energy for the sign of Leo, please. What is Leo dealing with in love? We have avoiding the inner child, time to do the work. Maybe you, maybe somebody you're dealing with. Passionless connection. Can we be of better service to each other? toolkit. <clears throat> All right, Leo. So avoiding the inner child time to do the work, passionless connection, can we be better? Can we be of better service to each other? A new toolkit. Sounds like somebody, a partnership, this seems like we're in an established connection here, Leo, but it feels like somebody, um, Maybe the way that they show up is something that's like kind of pushing us apart from each other with passionless connection. Um, and here it's almost as if like we're trying to fix it with the new toolkit. Can we be of better service to each other? So it's like things that are addressed, you know, maybe we have lost the passion in the connection. You know, maybe it's a, a direct correlation to avoiding inner work, you know, the inner child addressing past pain. Show me avoiding the inner work. <clears throat> Show me avoiding the inner child. Time to do the work. You have the eight of swords. <clears throat> Leo. Show me more. King of Cups could be dealing with Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. You have the moon. And you've got the three of cup or three of swords with the two of uh, two of cups. <clears throat> um, here, for some of you Leos, you may be dealing with somebody that's in addiction, in a in a position of addiction or a place of addiction in their life. This is somebody who can't see past the pain. It's somebody where um, there are certain avoidance in addressing painful experiences from their past and like their toolkit and how to deal with problems, their coping skills, you know, it's created a distance between people here. It's created a heartbroken energy within something that should be loving. But this person is emotionally distraught. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Wands, which is an energy of protecting oneself. And I feel like when somebody is so disconnected from their self, it creates a, disconnect, a disconnection from their partner, forcing their partner to be in a position of self-protection. Show me passionless connection, please, for Leo. Yeah, you've got the Seven of Wands popping through here. Show me more. More for passionless connection for Leo. Got justice in reverse. Ten of pentacles in reverse here. So this may be a connection that's gone on for a long time. Um, long, perhaps marriage, many years, five plus ten years, <clears throat> some of you. Um, this also may be a connection between your parents, friends, parents, whomever this is. But it's almost as if with the, um, the Seven of Wands here and the Justice card in reverse, it's like 
nothing's being changed. You're not showing up for me. You're being dis you're like dissociating. You're like being away. You're being apart. And it's, it's driving a wedge in this connection. It's breaking up this connection here because this passionless connection, it actually feels more like when people aren't on the same page, when we're not putting our efforts and energy towards the same thing, it's like, well, why am I here? Why am I here? I love you so much, but why am I here? My heart's broken. Why am I here? You know, do I stay in this? Why is there no change in this? How do I protect myself in this? It's, it's, it's a harsh energy when we realize that like we, our position in our relationship becomes more of one of self-protection rather than it is of self-expression, self-love, you know, expression of love towards our partner, being seen by our partner. It's almost as if we have somebody that's like dissociating here in life. And it's affecting our relationship. This could be parents' energy as well. Um, can we be of... Okay, that's all the cards falling over. <clears throat> Show me... Is there anything on the table? No? no? Okay. Show me, can we be of better service to each other? Because this is like a change. This is some sort of action change. Can we be a better service to each other, please? Yeah, see, this is coming back to a situation. I just saw the Knight of Cups pop out with the Queen of Cups. Um, show me more. Can we be of better service to each other, King of Swords? Ooh, nice. Yep, there you go. Yep, <laughs> bottom of the deck, the Fool. So <clears throat> this is an awareness. This is a change in perspective. This is getting help. When we have the King of Swords upright here, <clears throat> when we have the King of Swords upright, it indicates somebody that is willing to do the work. It indicates somebody that is rectifying something here. Um, with the Six of Swords in reverse, it's like going back to the to the matter at hand and putting the effort into it. Can we be of better service to each other? I feel like this partner realizes like the pain that they've caused or like the distance and the connection that they've caused has been something that's like, it's heartbreaking. It's like, well, how do I value my partner? Like, I can't even show up for myself right now. Like my issues are causing so much distress, so much heartache, so much discomfort here. I need to assess them. I need to deal with them. I need to work on things. I need to be real with myself and cut out the BS. Here I am readdressing the situation, bottom of the deck, the fool, which has, which essentially indicates that this is a, this is a beginning here. I'm seeing that movie. What is the movie? 2001 Space Odyssey with like the monolith. Um, I don't know why I'm getting that like visual of like the opening credits or whatever of that movie. Maybe that video or that. Okay, so I'm like talking in like old terms. So video, nobody uses video VHS anymore. That's an older film. Maybe we're dealing with people who are older. That's hard because like when those things are ingrained in us, it's very hard to change them, especially within that generation too, just because those people weren't allowed to feel. They weren't allowed to express. You listen, you do, you don't speak, you don't talk, you don't feel. Here we're asking for a new toolkit. Show me a new toolkit. Yeah, yeah a new toolkit to save our connection, to heal our family. Nine of swords in reverse, beautiful. Show me more from the toolkit. Yep, beautiful. Bottom of the deck, the Ten of Wands. This has been a long-term process. You know, you have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, you have the Ten of Wands in reverse, you have the Ten of Cups. It's beautiful because the love isn't dead. It's just like, I'm so sorry I created all of these problems. I'm so sorry. Like, I am now showing up for myself here. Um, this is a really interesting energy, Leo, just because it's like getting over, like, 
the the energy of like tearing ourselves down, tearing the connection down to one of clarity. This very much reminds me of sobriety here, working on that energy. And some of you may not be dealing with somebody who's addicted to any substance, but the way that they've operated has been in a loop of negativity within a connection here. And here it's like we have the clarity and understanding to move forward here new toolkit how do we address things in new ways how do we there's a woman that i love um her youtube channel is called the the crappy childhood fairy i think that's what it's called i think she goes by the crappy childhood fairy um check her out yeah most definitely check her out um I feel that that may be, she might have, like, some information for you guys. And, like, go through her catalog of videos. Like, she's got a ton. But, like, they're so specific and they address so much in a video. If that's something that is calling you, go check it out. You know, and if you're the partner of somebody who's dealing with these things, maybe go check it out for yourself, first of all. Because it's all information that can be applied to partnerships and to ourself. But also it's energy that is, um, it's information that is um, very, very potent to help change situations. But, you know, hopefully your partner is available to that. And here it feels like they are. Um, it's a long road to success, but it feels like you've already attained certain levels of success. It's just about retweaking things here, Leo, um, allowing ourselves to grow in a different type of connection, um, supportive, you know. And seeking it out, you know, it's okay to feel, it's okay to address things. Um, here we're like moving through the, the sadness so that we can actually um, experience better things within our connection and our partnership and our family. So that's what I have for you. I hope that this reading was helpful. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, and uh, liking the video helps the channel grow. I love you guys. Bye, Leo.